this is the expression machine. It lifts up here, the front drops down, you turn it on here and when you do that the button turns green. It needs a cartridge in the front of the machine in order for it to work and the LCD screen is on the left side. You have buttons for size over here on the right. You have buttons for speed and pressure on the left and these are shown in the bottom of your LCD screen. When you put an image on the mat you select your feature button, you select your button and an image of that icon will come up in your screen. What you cannot see from here is whether it will cut at this size or whether it will cut at this size, which is very tiny. Now the sizing on your expression machines goes from the top of the icon to the bottom. So if we look at the letter 2, it would be from the top of the 2 to the bottom. With your art booking cartridge, these sizings are relative to your page. So you do have to be careful as to what size they are, if you need to cut them in real dial size or not. The expression machine has mode buttons, feature buttons and function buttons on your overlay. There is a number of buttons on the right hand side which work with your machine as well. You can start it, stop it and cut from the right hand side but there is no pause on this machine. Likewise, when you're looking at the blade housing and the carrier, it is underneath a co the cover, so therefore you can only use Cricut pens and Cricut markers in there if you're wanting to do the marker pens and gel pens. Now the other major difference is that the expression will cut from the top right of the paper to down and down towards the left hand side so this actually is not what you expect your height is from the right hand side to the left hand side but your cutting is actually down the page this way now we come to the E2 and as you will see I have the E2 turned on it is defaulted to the cartridges that are in the machine. There are two internal cartridges in this machine. If we put a cartridge in the back, in the slot, you will see now that it is defaulted to the cartridge that we have put in. The difference in this machine, as I've said with the expression, it covers the actual blade housing, this one does not, so you can use a third generation pen holder in here or marker pen holder and use any size pens or markers. The other ability this has, there is a stylus in the front, you can press your magnify button and have it come up on the screen so you can see where it's going to cut. If we choose a feature and put a word up, you can then see by going back to the screen, you will see exactly where on the screen it's going to cut. Now you may not be able to see that in that size, so I've just resized that for you. And if I zoom in on this, you may be able to see a bit more of where it's going to be cut on the mat. Now the major difference between the two of them is when I put the mat into the E2, it will cut 
from the top left of the mat towards the right, as you can see here with it cutting the explore on this mat. There are a number of features with this machine that the Expression doesn't have. It does have the ability to Wi-Fi and you can buy a Wi-Fi stick. It is specific to the Cricut, but this means that you, if you have Wi-Fi in your home, you can go on Cricut Craft Room and you can Wi-Fi your project to, to your Cricut. That means that you don't have to be in the same room as the computer. And a lot of people find this a huge advantage. There are a number of other things that the E2 can do. You can change all the settings under the spanner icon. It has presets in the machine for different papers. As well as that, you can actually save the materials that you wish to cut in their cut settings and you can save the blade settings that you would like to have or that you use frequently. This is specific to this machine.